Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. Now, usually I go over bucket plugins. This one's actually not a plugin related, but it is, I think, technically a bucket. But server settings, actually, I think it's just server settings in general. So if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do these every week, sometimes twice a week, like this week. Fortunately, this one's quick and easy. Thought I'd go over it. It's a couple things that have been around for quite a while that are not exactly well known and was actually suggested by Angie McLegnon. Yes. So as you can see, she suggested, I'm assuming she suggested five different things. I'm going to hit the first two. Um, the first one being the server icon. As you can see in this overlay, it's incredibly easy. All you do is you make your picture that you want to be your icon. And then it needs to be 64 by 64 pixels in whatever program that you want. I know Paint will let you resize uh, pictures really simply. Um, but it won't let you do transparency. Check out GIMP 2. I'm not really going to go over exactly how to do it, but you can set transparent layers and all that stuff. And then you save it as a PNG. So more specifically, you save it as server-icon.png. And then you just upload that to your base server folder there and then start your server or restart your server and it'll show up like that. Um, like you see all of these uh, servers do really incredibly easy. The other thing to do is the colored um, message of the day. Now I'm assuming that they mean, now we've gone over kind of how to do the message of the day with essentials, but I'm assuming they mean that MOTD that shows up in the description of your server link. So if you go, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. So all of these, you know, the colors here, all of that stuff and all of that. Now that's actually fairly simple. Um, all it is, is when you're in your servers.properties file, when you adjust that MOTD, as you can kind of see in this overlay here, <clears throat> You just change, rather than using the customary ampersand number or whatever you use when you're doing colored text in Minecraft, you do um, this UA00 whatever. There's a whole list of the translations. I'll put a link in the gibbles to the translations as well as you can see this over here. All you do then is just modify your MOTD to be that. Pretty simple. That is it for you guys. This one was a really quick and easy one. I know both of these have been around for quite a while and um, probably known by a lot, but I know um, some people still looking on how to do it and this is kind of their place to go. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. Angie McLegan, feel free to share this out and because this video, whoa, I'm green. This video is for you and yeah, so this is Constant McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Whoa! Die. What was that? <laughs> it was a bomb, dude. Did you do that? No. Why would I do that? Why would you sabotage our whole mission? Because yeah, I did. <laughs>